What's up? Hey. What's up? Comic Convo's here for another episode, guys. Another live episode. This week we are talking about Spider-Man Homecoming, and it's going to be exciting. Because, guys, it was a good movie. Now, me and Axel did express a couple things that were a little dropped into about an eight and a half. For me, a solid eight and a half. But overall, I thought the movie was really good. Very moving, very telling of his development. I enjoyed oh, that aspect of it. Most I wasn't even bothered by the young Aunt May. I know some people were griping. I feel like she wasn't in enough for us to care about that. Right. I was like, she was such a minor character. And that's that's how it is in the comics. Yeah, like she just pops in. She's really, really, really a prop character yeah, most of just the time. Kinda, boom. In and out. Also, hey, what's up, Cy? Thanks. Hey, you Cy. Are here first. Israel, what's up, and man? Izzy, good to hey. see you. Thank you. Sounds, Sounds a tiny, tiny bit muffled. muffled. Yeah, it's probably from that audio. I wasn't able to get all my Uh-oh, stuff. Oh, no worries. Hopefully that won't stay that way. Let's make sure everything's yeah, good. Let's, hope, let's make sure. We're... Oh, you know what? It, it's probably... No. Hmm. I don't know. What should we do that? Let's see. Double check here on my filters. Oh, that's probably why. It might be a little hard to hear. I don't know how hard it is to hear it yet. Uh, let's see. Let's see here, guys. Doing a little adjusting. Just a little bit. Like Not I said, a little much. bit of logistics. We'll do about four. It should be more than enough. I mean, I think we're coming in all right, but I can't really tell. We're going to check. Do we come in okay? How muffled is it? Four. It should be more than enough. I mean, I think we're coming in all right, but I can't really tell. We're gonna check. Do we come oh, in okay? A, How muffled is it? Or it should be more than enough. I mean, I think we're coming in all right, but I can't really tell. We're gonna check. I think we're good. Do we come? Uh, uh, either way, hopefully. What up, bro? Skis, Levi. Hey, Levi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, we're just up? checking some logistics. That's perfect. Oh, okay. <sighs> what is up, everybody? Gotcha. Guys. Yo, what's up, Izzy? Too. Oh man, Dude, so Spidey was up? great. <sighs> There were so was... many good aspects about the film. The thing is, the, I felt like it was more like putting yourself into the universe of Spidey. Like, I felt there was a lot of little things, and it's kind of hard because we don't want to reveal details. We don't do spoilers first week out. We, we yeah, try to we wait a couple months. Try to months. wait a couple couple months to, you know, Sometimes do any a couple talks. Weeks. Like yeah, that. at least any serious talks. Yeah, especially time time, Homecoming. But... Like, that's a yeah, big, that's a big premiere one. film. Like, a must-go-see. Yeah. So... <laughs> gracious isn't it oh yeah so yeah guys um spider-man homecoming what would you say was your favorite thing about that axel like what was your favorite part of most Spider-Man certainly homecoming? most certainly tom holland as spider-man by far easily dude i mean tom easily holland the best part is the best combination of both of them yeah Trains he's both of them ve- so not only well. that they the the peter they choose to portray in this one is much more along the lines of the original comic. exactly young um, even the way he acts goofy in spider-man costume very smart has the answer to everything he's a whiz so like, you want to build my new how many people <laughs> oh uh, all right, so I but thank you guys good. so much for coming out tonight. Feel free to ask any questions when you have a chance. Um, let us know if you saw Homecoming. What did you think, or what do you expect? I feel like a lot of the complaints come back to the fact that he's young and stupid. Yeah, which, which is, is the point. I thought no. I mean, he's young, but he's not definitely not stupid. I mean, he's, he's young. He's young. Up, yeah, I like, mean, he, he makes, makes mistakes. mistakes. Like, I'm just happy that they got the character right. Yeah, such a very true depiction of Spider-Man. Like, even at in his off time very... at school, how they depict him. Oh, yeah, man. The way he... And he's good. Uh, everything... He makes so many jokes, and he's, I like, mean, he just quirky. didn't really... Do, like, every... Like, that's what really pulled it together, because there were, honestly, other side points that could have really pulled down other movies yeah but... but he was and that was that was the thing about some of the sam Raimi ones for me i was like he's not goofing up enough i mean even more than that he just wasn't being yeah, like all right yeah. so my basic example that i think is the difference because they did some okay goofiness in the first movie but the real issue is even how peter treats people like how he treats people and his his relationship with mary jane was not true to the comics that was very like i was like well was, and that's the whole like he was MJ very in love with her but like that wasn't mj's personality in my opinion and i don't know that connection wasn't like that in the comics yeah there was a lot of all. difference there for sure and like i said mostly like then this one what makes the difference for me is how he acts towards other people a little bit of what he does by himself too but like 
for example, like when he's rushing out, how he treats that is so familiar because like something comes up and he's kind of like struggles for half a second and then he's gone because he's spider-man is kind of what he got to do yeah and i i really liked it and i really i really 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 liked i'm gonna tell you guys oh we got a couple questions i, said, I thought andrew's version of spider is great i don't know why people hate it he was just true to his character i f- i don't think i don't hate andrew's version and the thing I is andrew's version, version of spider-man Spidey. yeah his version of spidey's fine was. Was little good. typo there no worries levi I'm about just the typo, ha- i'm just happy they got the character yep we got them i think the origin story says spider-man out for a drama superhero i think that's why this spider-man had a different feel i can i i can i can kind of see that like if they go into a more serious direction especially two years down the line I'll right. uh, have a little age on his face, hopefully by then. Um, I mean, even if not, the real more... Uh, the movement through the movie is so easy to depict through character appraise. Like, even minor changes to costume and stuff make up for a lot of that. Like, anything. I mean, in, even physical shape. Now, it's a, like you said, it's a little harder because he's depicting the young character, so he needs to t- kind of show aging, but that's... And he, he is, he will be 25 at that point. I'm sure he can show a little bit of age, you know what I mean? Right, and he'll Especially be fine. how he acts. Uh, like Good I said, actor. I'm, I Great think that actor. was another thing, is like, I don't know where we, I, I know where they want to go for this. I'm not sure how it's going to play out, necessarily. Especially the way they depicted this one, as far as Tombs, and everyone knows Vulture is the yep, villain in this villain. one. Yeah, and, and some of the moves that they're making... There, I think uh, that's what really got yeah. me about the vulture was his backstory in this one. Yeah, so <sighs> different, and, I, and we won't go into too much detail. No. But it was very, it was different to the Thank point where I was like, like Charlie eh. Collins, appreciate yeah, it, man. Thank Hello you. there, Tyler. Hey, I see hey, you. Hey, Tyler. Thanks Losing for coming. Losing Uncle in. Ben makes for a sad Spider-Man movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's not go there. Zach, what's up, man? How's it going? What's up, Zach? How's it going, guys? But yeah, I then I think that does bring away from that's why this version it feels so much less dramatic, much more comedic. Yeah, it does. It feels lighter in tone and it feels like a lot more digestible, which is honestly way better. Yeah, it is. It's this and and my thing about it is like if you've never watched a Spidey movie, if you watch this one, you will be in for a different different take on Spider Man. You'll actually really enjoy it. Uh Toby Spidey was yeah, and Toby Hi Brandon David yeah, thanks he for was. coming in. He, he was definitely really funny in the corner, like, yeah. He weird. didn't make good... He couldn't deliver jokes, No, though. at all. I don't know what... He was not meant he to He was be like, going. I'm your friendly neighbor. Just dropping by to say hi. I gotta go and get ready for work in the AM. For sure, Thanks Tyler. for dropping Thanks by, for man. By Thank so you much. for supporting us on Patreon as well. Yep. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We got more content this week. I know we've sometimes been dropping the ball on those Patreon posts, but we try to make it up to you, I swear. Yeah, and we're gonna have some more content coming out very soon, guys. The good thing is... Holland's PP and Spidey are similar as they should be. Garfield's and Toby's PP felt like it was him in the suit. They're, they did have drastically different characters from the suit. Like, that is one thing, and, and it was something about this in the Vulture that I did like. Like, we can even put that under a meme, like, first villain to ever recognize him. It right. could be just the voice uh. of it, like... It's like, oh man, and I and I really just liked how he fit both of the roles in a very good way, and he blended those characters, and that was the problem with the other ones. Like, I was just like, that's Spider Man. He's like a totally different. Peter right, Parker. right. When he's Peter Parker, he act, kind of acts like Peter Parker, but then when he's Spider Man, he's, he's not funny. He's not goofy. He's very serious. He very, kinda they jo- very especially much, in two and yeah. on. Oh man, two, anything beyond one on those. Yeah. Right, yeah. we all Thanks for joining, man. Thank you. The good thing is Hans be yeah. I, I feel like a lot of those question mark Brendan Davis mm-hmm. Davidson question mark on what's up hi <laughs> <laughs> um but what were you saying I was saying like a lot of the problems like we had talked about before was with the main character in Spidey always missing the casting or missing the direction they needed to be acted in whatever it may have been. And that in this one, not only is the age casting appropriate, the character, like, Tom Holland does a really good job at, like you said, the seamless blend, and it shows a lot better here because of school, I think. Yeah, I think the it addition does. of it, the, school makes Spider-Man a much better character. Factor. Even, it's, it's just I the fact even that it's that. even closer to the origin. It's more, it's way more close to the comics it, depiction in terms of like him being young in high school. He's in high school every issue, guys, for a while. Getting picked like on, is, yeah, getting 
but by Flash all yep, the time, every... uh, and just doesn't really have friends. Move part. I did like nerd. that they added Ned though. It's kind of weird that they like changed that character from who he originally is. Yeah. Um, but I I like that they added a friend for him a little bit. A little sidekick just, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it gave him a little sidekick character. I also, to hang I also out with. didn't necessarily. I guess it wasn't that different, but I didn't like necessarily what they did with Flash in this one. And not even just the yeah. casting of the thing, but the casting of, like, <laughs> Flash is supposed to be this physically bigger guy. He is, and he's supposed to be brooding, and he's supposed to be, like, and he's definitely not like supposed to be on the, uh, uh, he's definitely not supposed to be on the triathlon team or whatever, yeah, it's like, whatever they, whatever they were doing. Definitely not Flash. He's not that smart. <laughs> The, literally, the comics talk about it all the time. Like Flash, Flash was a jock who had an alcoholic father, and picked on Peter. Yeah, that's that was his whole story. And that I will say, the Flash in Amazing was good. I like that guy because he picked on Peter Parker just like Flash does. He was taller than him, bigger than him. He was pushing on him and everything. Not just in like the a movie. movie. Not in this movie. Who Flash? Or sure. it's a new take, people. Yeah, I guess Flash. I, I understand that it's well, a new I, take. I mean, this is the MCU and it's a new universe. But we're just saying in terms of comic closeness, right. it's, it's just not. It, it just doesn't, I don't feel it provided a good enemy for him either. Like, And I liked, I kind of liked Flash being a little bit antagonistic for a while. Well, pushing I feel like, Peter and like giving him oh, even, even more motivation. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the other thing is Flash was supposed to represent everything Peter didn't, like... Flash was this dumb, strong, Complete opposite yeah, who didn't, to him. yeah, who didn't use his brain, who solved all his problems with force, and who picked on yeah, the little guy. He was a jock, right? Didn't Ron, take any bully, responsibility with power. Never good, him. really. But that's just, like I said, that's my take on that one. Uh, Homecoming definitely was what I expected to be with it being high school kid reboot movie. I loved it, by the way. I feel like people expected Wonder Woman action scene stuff, which I wouldn't have expected ever no, from the Spidey no, movie. Es- not especially the first one. I mean, it's like, this is supposed to be development. The only thing I have bad to say about the movie is the CGI suit Sony did went over the suit with CGI. Yeah. I, I don't know. The The second suit wasn't my... I wasn't fond of. The, the homemade? No. The end one. Oh, that, uh... Not the specialty one dish. either, but the, sp- the the gift one after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, at the very... Yep, yep, that's why I'm okay, just like, we, yep, we gotta, we gotta that's cut that. That's as far as we can yeah, go. That, we gotta cut that. It's already too eluding, but that's just like, uh, the some of the designs on this one were really good, and some were really interesting. Some were clean, and some were I like... liked, I loved the weaponry. The weaponry in this for the bad guys, amazing. Same for him, like all his gadgets. I just love that they were using the stuff from the Avengers movies. When like... I say people, I say casual movie goers, which is us. Go look at the suit Marvel designed for the film. Sony made huge changes. Oh, mm. that might be it then. Wow. Uh, why though? Why would? Why does Sony even try at this point? We've even talked about how we like we checked the other ones. In the it, other. Oh, I I just I'm like Sony just. Just get your grip. Here's the off. thing: you have your hand, hand in the money. Leave it, Leave like it that. there. That's, like, why you got to get involved in all the same process? And everything. It's not, like, you're not stop. helping. You've obviously, lost the movie war. Unfortunately, like everyone makes the point about this, this, and that, but like movie wars are all about money. It is, and, and no one cares like, about Sony, an Oscar, but the actors. You did a good Spider-Man one, but after that, and two was good too. But after that, things just went downhill, fellas. Especially but the Spider-Man. Right, you know, it's Logan. development. It is. It's that story that you want... Okay, as a, especially as a Spider-Man comic reader, frequently... Guys, tracing all the way back to the beginning... This is literally how it pretty much is in tone. Like, it's like Spider-Man is in high school every day. He is still youngish. He messes up. He makes those mistakes. He's a genius. Just like he's in the triathlon. Boom, good. And it showed a, a scene with him doing really good science. Yeah, I like that it's like stuff. I was like, yes, that was some of my favorite. Like right the stuff with like the web fluid. Free. Yep, my favorite. Amazing man. And, him and like you said, the and... the thing about it is Peter was such a like he was a complex, but he was a relatable character. Like you said, it, for the longest time, high school and then college. Like Peter Parker's probably one of the only people who ever took an actual 
maybe not too chronal real life, but he took an actual progression through his entire stage of his thing. Like he did, man. He and grows, and it's best like thing all right. About it. It's literally it's like all right. High school gets the job in high school as a photographer for part time money. Mm-hmm. Goes to college and picks up even more time. More starts time. being a lab assistant. Becomes a professor. Graduates or... becomes a full. Yeah, he does well, a whole. There's a whole. You know, yeah, there's a process, there's and now a, where he's at now, I mean, we're at the beginning. So it's no, like, yeah, which is why Wonder Woman, which is received well, casuals don't want development, which is why Wonder Woman. Uh, well. I would say that's um, actually Spider Man Homecoming. I hear a lot of good things from casuals. I hear it, but I, I, I feel, I do feel his thing on development. Like they people, don't, they want people the don't, yeah, they want they action and, and right. they want finality, they want closure. But this one was defeated. received very well for a development film, which I was kind of surprised. I was, I had told people this as well when they're like, "Wow, you saw Spider Man? Could you tell me like one thing about it?" I was just like, "The one thing I would tell you is, go in there expecting to see a development movie. Like, go in there expecting to see a high, a coming of age film for Peter Parker, and a." a Coming the hero for Spider Man. Go in there expecting that. I like this question from Izzy. Could you see them doing films of Spider Man as in Parker Industries? Does that sound like a Spidey you would want? Honestly, I don't think they could until really pull until they get rid of Iron Man. Yeah. Once you get rid of Iron Man, officially, then, which but it would take so long. We we need another four, three movies probably until he could get anywhere near that. Dying. Point. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's like people who are tossing around. He might die in Infinity War. I'm like, no, he's not gonna die. Sorry, he, to spoil he's the poster the boy of the thing. I very much doubt he's dying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like very few. Like he's definitely not. Dying. I'm just saying, like you can lose a Quicksilver. We're not losing our. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, dang, how the Flash catches Oh, uh, so many people, Ooh, is he still alive? I don't think so. I hope not, honestly, because I just don't care enough about the two. That the, one was, the that way they one was, was so good. It's so much better. Can we just replace the, the Get Chris him in, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Let's And just retro him. a little bit of the background on some of the fucking Scar. <laughs> it's like, come on, uh, man. That would be ah. so awesome. Also, also, do you, do you think, think it was a conscious decision to show Peter's full intelligence, like how intelligent he's, he's going to be, genius, genius or just really smart kid with Spidey powers? I think showing that they did a real good job in showing his potential in this, which is what a lot of what the comics were about, was that Peter had so much potential, but because of being Spider-Man and because of... He had multiple responsibilities. You know, he had to take care of his and priorities, and yes, and that. And, and, oh, man. Oh yeah, and because, then because they could introduce a Miles Spider Man in Spider Verse, I would love a Edge of Spider Verse film. I'd love it, but I just don't know how they'd get the logistics. I just, dude, I, I don't, I, I don't have enough faith. No, like, I'm sorry, I just don't. Not like we still have to, we still have a Spider Man film. Every first Spider Man film is good, and we still got a big Infinity DC. Wars. Oh, like, that I mean, I have faith in that one, but who knows? It could be a clunker. Batman vs Superman has thing, so oh. much faith. I had no faith in that. I had beginning. so much faith, bro, because I, the Dark Knight was such a good movie. I was like, please let this be. I mean, a it was like why that. Did, I but I and I think that's why is because you thought Dark Knight. I immediately thought the what was it the first. I, that's what I hoped for. I didn't say I, th- I initially oh, okay. got to that. Conclusion. Got all right. Fair I enough. was just like hoping for back when rumors were circulating like two, 2014, 2015. Right, right. Forward plot development and stuff like that. Well, when did it come out? It came out twenty sixteen. Yeah, it came out last year. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like twenty fourteen was when it started circulating. There might have been like a clip of it. I wanted it to be strong in that in that sense of storytelling in but that it, sense of development and plot. It's not. And that and the problem was there was just so much dialogue that's like Superman and Batman have barely any dialogue together. But that's a rant for another day, guys. Yeah, we, I can't. We'll, we'll get sorry to diverge. One. I'm sorry. I'm hoping for more spider sense, less tech. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I, I'll agree with that. I felt like he relied pretty heavily on. The thing know, is, they too didn't. Much spoiling. I'm yeah, the thing is, they there was a lot of less about that, which I would have loved. That's a huge part of what made one the first movie good with the Raimi films was Spider Sense and, mm-hmm. and their and use how of it. Got, you know, explain the whole whole hairs on the back of his neck, right? right? Like that was awesome. <laughs> It was awesome, um, bro. Oh, thank you, Christopher Ortiz. We appreciate it so oh, much. <laughs> Zach Angry. Trailer, don't get me started on BVS. I liked all the tech for Spider-Man. Lol, that Zach's the one that watched it the other time. It was just like, this is terrible, bleh. <sighs> Man, I'm sorry you had to watch that, Zach. Yep. 
Yeah, we all did though, so you know, <laughs> comic fans just have to suffer through that. Yeah, one you just have while. to swallow, you know, you swallow your pride and go into it and just sit there, you know, just nail yourself to the to the chair. Indeed. Yeah, the tech for Spider Man I thought was cool, but I will agree with Mario a little bit without spoiling. I will agree with his comment a little bit more. I, I just, um, just want a little more, bit more Spidey, less. Which I think we're going to get. I think they set that yep. up for that very well. Definitely. Especially, you know, decisions is all I'm going to say. Decisions. Which, honestly, that was another extraneous part of that that I felt was like, do we even really need to add that in? We didn't, but, I mean, it was actually a bold uh, choice on Peter's end. I mean, I, I didn't, I just felt like it was not very meaningful, <laughs> honestly. You didn't like the... No, it wasn't even the thing. I just thought... Why even have the scene of, oh, and then, especially, I know, it was so exciting. I wasn't even that excited. I was actually really not excited as soon as they popped it up. I was like, the whole movie we spent basically not gearing for this. And Uh, then, no, no, the whole movie he spends not gearing for that. here's, Here's the thing. It's like, he's all over the place, but he, his, his loyalty is always... Ah, I just can't go too far. I mean, like I said, I see that I just felt, lies. I know, and, but, and I think that's that's why I like that scene, and that's why I was looking forward to it. I was, oh, yeah. I, I, like I knew what he was gonna say. I, I and, did. And it was like I did too. But even then, the thing that he says after that, which is which, first of all, takes away from the entire gesture. By the way, of being like, oh no, and then be like, but you know, and then it's like no. Uh, that's makes the entire thing meaningless if you thought it was for the thing. So that was terrible writing. Uh, I thought Super it was good. terrible. I, I just I, I thought it was good for Spider Man at least, and I, nah. for me, I enjoyed the scene. But I, again, I thought one of those things. I think that's one we on. disagree on, yeah. Because yeah. I I entirely didn't like every basically the concept I liked of that it scene so much. The concept, the execution, I didn't like that scene at all. Mm. I didn't think it was executed that great, but I thought I actually thought the meaning that it had. For the I story felt like if it had gotten awesome. that meaning through, it would have been nice. But the way they said it, the way he that I the dialogue, say, it was just terrible. He like wasn't said, really even involved. You know what I mean? That's kind of my thing. Yeah, I mean, it was, and, and I think that's why it came to that because it was like, all right, he needed to make a decision, which is fine. That point. But that could have been, like I said, it was this whole thing. They screwed up the execution of it at, with both the ending of it. Like I said, it's no, the whole thing of character is nice until you hit that end part where it's like, oh, but you were. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what you, exactly you mean I, by the ending, and I'm like, uh, I'm all I have to say is text. F- okay, okay, that ruins it entirely. That one piece of dialogue ruins the entire intention of what he was doing. That it. It, it does so bad for that scene. That was honestly probably why I left a sour taste in my mouth at the end. Because I felt like the very like the beginning of it was a super strong film all the way until probably the car scene before prom. And then everything re- took a lot. So, so what I really wanted from that is I wanted like... And it, it wasn't going to happen, but I wanted gun to head. Like I want. I know. Like, I know. I wanted something. Intensity. And that's. I think like, that was the I thing was too. Like, was like I really wanted like right gun to head. I like the mid hey. show character should have gotten. Oh god, we got a lot. Of oh, I like the Easter egg at the end, which was cool. Yeah, that I was like great. That. And that was that was post. the only thing that made that scene from before we're talking about any we're decent. Talking the post credit. No, the post credit was awesome, but the scene we were talking about before post credit that relates to that post credit scene. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Because that does make it a little better. That actually gives the a more decent reason yeah. for showing that scene. Uh, you know what I mean? As an Easter egg, that's a much better scene mm-hmm. than as in, in my opinion, as a plot point. Than as like a... Well, it's like one thing. of those things like, all right, the whole story is over and none of this matters for the next however long and we just added on something for no reason. Right. <laughs> Two years. And freaking... Oh my god, it's gonna be so... I like... Uh, uh, yeah, to comic book fans, yes. I like the Michelle character should have gotten better scenes, though, considering the other girl was just a throwaway, yeah, for future movies. I didn't understand. Gwen Stacy, I heard her I, in future... I future. need her... Oh I god. Need her in the future. No, films. you can't have Gwen Stacy, because Gwen Stacy has to die, and that's yeah, not the tone does. of the I, Spider-Man I, And I'm movie. wondering what might happen is that 
I don't know what's going to happen in this two-year gap. They might even make Spidey spread more years. I Who want knows? a Spider-Gwen, which I see that being be one of the awesome! least. awesome! I do, but I think that's, bad. like, the least likely of things we've And they would execute it well, in my opinion, so I'm I think saying. they could. If they got the homegirl back in the stone... I thought she was pretty good at it. I think station. she could be a pretty good Spider-Gwen. She yeah. makes... I think she would make a better Spider-Gwen than she did in Gwen Stacy, though. She was a, a good Gwen Stacy, but her character fits... Happy. But her character fits Spider-Gwen way better. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like, oh, Spider-Gwen is so much... I don't know. It's just hard because original Gwen Stacy... Is oh, in a Spider Gwen period uh, is just like such a funny and awesome. Oh yeah, but like, I just but the reason being is she lasts long enough to get character development. Yeah, whereas, whereas Gwen Stacy, you know, dies very early on. Right, and is depicted as very, uh, I don't know. I feel like she's not very not de- depicted very deeply. Very, like they, they make you heavily, care, care yeah. about her enough. But they it's, don't tell she's you Peter's about crush her. and whatnot, and right, and, and, and she's and nice to Peter. So then you're like, oh, cool. And but it doesn't ever go that deep into her Ain't story. He too old. Donald Glover expressed interest in Miles. He is definitely too old for Miles. Yeah, he is. Uh, but they were making people were making trying to make references to the oh well, Donald. It's like I got a nephew, and the thing. Yeah, like but that the only problem. Him. But the only problem, yeah, being that the guy, the character's name, which they said. And I can't remember it now. Yeah, they said the char- <laughs> they said the character name or Donald Glover's character name and his name is not shared with surname. Oh, with it's Miles. not Morales. No, which threw me off because it was like Miles. Well, so, when he Davis yeah, movie. which no, like you said, that doesn't discount it at all. They could easily you could have, change character or, or change whatever. surnames. Yeah, surnames. But it it also doesn't give any confirmation. It's just like no, one of those random. That, that would be cool, right? It's one of those like, possible uncon. It's like the Watcher Stan Lee theory. Yeah, it's exactly. like no one. Everyone thinks it, but no one's sure. That's why we needed Amazing guts. Three. Peepy killed his uncle and Gwen dad. Make a promise he'd keep her safe. Then got her killed. It's actually even sadder in the comic book side because he promises Gwen's. No, that's the same thing. Didn't they get it right in that one? Uh, it was, the scene looked different, but yeah, basically it was the same plot movement, and amazing too, they, they did get that good. Uh, he's got some, what of a young voice, lol, he plays the voice for the Ultimate Miles Spider-Man cartoon. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, he does, and that's I've cool. heard, and I've heard him, uh, play it, but I just, that, I, that's not gonna the transfer depiction, onto, yeah, yeah, like, the like, no, nah, he wouldn't look Even, even, like, young. seeing him in the thing, and his scene. manner of speech, yeah, stuff, like, he probably could act different and do the thing, but, he, like, I was... Not Miles, Miles is young, dude, I mean... So young, younger than Peter. Young. Yeah, he's... And, that, like I said, we're just so far off from that right now. Yeah, The real question is, do we need the alternate Spider-Mans in this MCU, um... Nope. <laughs> no more. No other Spider-Man. Uh, keep them at bay because let's be honest here. Spider-Man three was awful, terrible. Keep that. Keep Toby back. And Amazing two was just gonna become another Spider-Man three. It, really it was, was on track back. to that because Amazing two was like uh, they messed up on that. Oh, there was yeah, a lot of mess. Like it's so always. sad because there was so much good about it. That I they just didn't like done. Jamie Fox. Yeah, it was really poor Sorry, depiction. Like, which it, I don't think it was his fault. You know, it was. The I way know, they had the We character. talked about the pretty face theory and how he was acting kind of just like yeah, so they, Which weird. they have to have him act that way. It's not like, you know, they tell you what they want. It's like, hey, we want you to act like this. Okay. Yep. What else are you going to do? Yeah. So I don't blame him at all, but that's the thing. If you guys could add one scene to the movie, what would it be for Homecoming? Ooh, for Homecoming. Which, which movie? Director's commentary on two. He explained how he really wanted to keep close to the comics. But him and Sony didn't allow him to do a lot of the stuff. Uh, yeah, that I seems see to, that. That yeah. seems to be the trend with Sony. <laughs> um, I mean, amazing too. They allowed a little bit more leg room, but not a lot. They at least made uh, it. Amazing somewhat... too was like not even accurate. Amazing, the original amazing. They tried to get some original stuff in there, but which eh. yeah. Homecoming? Okay, if I had to add a yeah, scene you go first. I think I would add another post credit scene to do delve further. Oh, yes, please. Like in an infinity, maybe not even an infinity hit, but just something to dive even deeper into the Spider-Man story. Like I said, I wanted, they did such a light thing at the end in the prison, you know. Yeah, we cannot go that far, man. We're done <laughs> with that. Well, like it doesn't um, ruin but... it until like a certain point, but it's just like one of those things, like the ending scene was not, good enough in this one in my opinion well, one of them was because yeah. there's two right there's like the one post and then the other post 
Well, you know what I'm saying. This is the second post. But he's like, I know. That's why I'm saying is like, the, but there are two right There's in this two. one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the so second those, one though is like just, you know, you pinch me. Yeah. It is. And I'm like, that was a no no for me. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Um, and that's why, like I said, a lot of the things like came down to like Guardians of the Galaxy had five. Yeah, but they were all so short. They were. They were but like they, three they or four They were at least seconds. about them. And it Not, was yeah, and that was the thing they were also revealing. Yep. They were sometimes inter- entertaining. That's the other thing. Got to be entertaining, and they usually gave it an Easter egg or some hint at the future. Mm-hmm. So Spider-Man, like I said, it still gets a strong eight, eight and a half for me because, like I said, Tom Holland makes the movie so good. He just is Spider-Man. The dynamic with Ned, even though it's changed, really strong. The way he's portrayed in his like environment and school, trying to balance that with the thing, you know, with everything else is like, it's pretty interesting. If I could add one scene to the film, um, I would add a reference to a character. Uh, I wouldn't exactly not this quote, but you'll know what character I mean when I say, um, with great power comes great responsibility. A reference, Just a nod yes. and a reference. A reference, yes. Because I would have yes, liked one scene where, like, maybe him and, and you know what I would have loved was like the, the like you know what it, they could have even slipped it into an existing scene where it's just like you gotta tell me what's wrong. It's like I know he's gone. You know something as small as that. You know, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, something just just one little add in because it's so important. We could get a little piece of that, character and I know, like I said, we so long. we know they were avoiding it because it's the same thing as Batman's parents' death. It's been done a million times, and it changes the entire tone of the movie. It does. It sets the tone. It of the makes movie, it a say. little more sad. Sony, Sony thinks, thinks they, they know, know comic, comic book, book fans. fans' law, which why would they ever think that none of their Sony. My thing is, they start off so strong in the first Spider-Man. I was like, "This is pretty cool." Like, there were things, not but, accurate, nothing... but it was, it was nothing to really turn me off. Like three or Amazing and even, Two, and even then, it had some great shouts to the comics. Great shouts, like yeah. the, the whole scene with the Green Goblin at the end. <sighs> Green best, Goblin, period. Probably so the good. best recreation scene to date. And let's 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 be honest here. The best thing about the rhyming films were the villains, man. That one and two villains, like the, that Green Goblin and uh, Doc, Doc Ock were just amazing villains. Even and Sandman just wasn't so well. bad. In, like, but the the mix of that terrible it was Venom, Venom and, yeah, the Venom. And, and the, the Sandman himself is uh, played the, pretty pretty spot on. He's kind of stalwart, silent, doesn't really isn't really a bad guy. Right, he just kind of is trying to do something bad for a better cause. Like, right, doing the, that, doing bad doing things dirty. for good reasons. Yeah, doing yeah. dirty things for good reasons. And Definitely. Getting his hands wet. Um, but I like that depiction of him, but I don't like that Venom. I don't like mm-hmm. the Goblin. I don't like... Oh, especially... I don't know. Harry by the last movie for me was like... Well, the Harry yeah. Goblin, I love the, the Osborne. Like, Defoe did... He Norman was Osborne. such a good. I would, I, like I said, you could bring Defoe back for this. Absolutely, series. I would. I would. I, I, love I would watch the shit out of oh, it. If he, if he was the Goblin again, I would watch. The I would crap watch out the of shit it. out of. It. Like I said, I don't know what it is. I think it's it is that scene, like the recreation scene of the death of the Green Goblin. Yep, is probably the flyer. It's probably one of the most accurate comic scenes to date. It is depicted very well for when it came out. Oh yeah, how like, early so in, in comic book cinema? Two thousand two. Jeez, like, that's like that's, that's so less than that's less Before, than five years after the like one of the original comic book movie hits. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're we're less than a decade into comic book movies. Because what what point, was really. really before that? Blade? I think we talked about Blade and Spawn, Spawn being yeah. the real starts for that. Uh, yeah, and they started out, and Blade was great. I mean, really I loved good. The Blade I, like I said, I had my father take me because i wasn't old enough to go watch of course man and it was it was my father so showed me all the dvds i was like oh this is so awesome oh, yeah Let's see we got it uncle ben is confirmed dead be crazy if it wasn't i don't think there was no, no, any no, confirmation no. but yeah blade, blade was, was the, amazing honestly even all the sequels aren't that bad yeah and I, I wouldn't mind a reboot i mean, I, I could heard... you gotta get wesley snipes though yeah <laughs> dude i just like it, all the choices that we have and all the pe- choices people have thrown out, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. 
um, Jamie Foxx was one I saw. Was People like, are always oh, throwing out. Like I said, you know who I could see? Him out. No, I was I was thinking about him for a second, but bring it back. Like I'm trying to think. I, th- I think we talked about Tyrese Gibson maybe doing one. Or yeah, was it? I would be down for him. Yeah, Tyrese. He's a little Fast smooth, and Furious films. But if he got if he did less talking and more Bro- gruffness, brooding and could hunt them, man. That's why I, I want a, I want an Idris Elba, but he just doesn't quite fit the role. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he's not really stocky enough. I I don't know. I think he could get there if he needed to, but Idris. Uh, he said weird. it too. Idris Elba is Blade. I was thinking it, but I just think he's yeah. he's too rough and not dark enough. If you know what I mean, he's not edgy enough to be Blade, in my opinion. Idris Elba is a rough. I, I'm trying to kind of pick to see if maybe I don't know. It Snipes depends. Said if he is could, still he down to do it. I would love it to see Snipes. Yeah, I heard it. that. <laughs> he came he just did such it. a such a good. Yeah, we should yeah, honestly push funny. for that. Huh? We need to start getting our favorite. Dude, comic Wesley movie Snipes made. back would be awesome. I would. I'm so for. Like it. I said, I never <sighs> fell out of love with any of the Blade movies, even the last one. Not nah, Tyrese. Yeah, I mean. It depends. He is kind of a smooth character. He's a little smooth. That's I why guess. I said we'd have to rough him, rough, rough him, him up a little. But it's it's different than Idris Elba, who's too rough. You'd need to edge him out or smooth him. So what would you think about him as a Bond? As I'd love him I'd as be Bond. so down, man. He, I think he based so he essentially awesome. for me be the new Sean Connery of Bond because that's how I feel their characters. Really? Yeah, he, man. Just I mean, the he's... way they portray people. And some of mean? the characters he has betray- has portrayed before have been mysterious, have been, you know, mm-hmm. silent. Regal, like, kind of. Just like Bond, man. Oh, yeah. And so he, close. He is British, guys. He ta- naturally speaks that way. Yeah, like you know, naturally. Bond has he never, does. ever, ever, ever in the books been referenced by any skin color any national, I mean British. That's it. That's it. Britain. Uh, Idris is John Stewart. Stewart. <sighs> I'd be down. Actually, I could totally be see it. Dope. Oh my goodness! Just, just like really rooting and shaking. Got his thing. It's like, like no mask. Oh yeah, no. that would that would pretty fit him well. Like, yes. like, old grizzled marine teamed up. Oh. Yep, he's just like brooding and Terry Crews was late like, twenty eighteen. That'd be so weird. <laughs> Look at my power! I can't take him seriously enough. <laughs> After white chicks, I can never take him you know seriously. Who, ever. All right, in that case, though, <laughs> let's do that. Who would we do Terry Crews as, then? In the comic universe? Yeah. Either DC or Marvel, because you could go either. I, if they weren't already... Nah, I, don't, um, I couldn't really see him... Because, like, I'm trying to think of characters that are goofy and kind of big. Amazo. No. No, dude. Mezo's just not a goofy I'm enough unless think, you do the uh, one. Uh oh, Lexi's here. Hi Lexi. Hey, what's up, Lexi? Um, I'm trying to think. I I can't <laughs> I I don't really know, man, to be honest. Uh, I'm having Superman a tough time with that one. one of the Superman Bizarro? Clones, Bizarro's. He could probably run a good Bizarro. Yeah, Bizarro. I am Superman! <laughs> Me I'm Superman! You are your friend! Man. <laughs> you are my friend. Blue man! <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, that would be better. That um, Red Hood, that Red Hood uh, DC is awesome right now. Oh, have you got it? Did yeah, you check out the Sub Zero? Oh, you mean the DC? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I need. To I, get I thought Sub-Zero, you meant man. I oh, really yeah. need to. Sorry, I thought you meant happen. Red. I do. That's awesome. Because I, I got the play, man. He's pretty cool. He's pretty strong. Cool specials. Uh, the specials are all right. His ulti is nice. Oh, that's cool. Like a cool scene. Yeah, yeah, just a cool cinematic. That's awesome. And then his moves are really practical. I feel like he's a like a stronger version of Captain Cold, kind of, or just maybe just okay. more accessible. Okay, because so they have a not, lot of similarities. But he's very not really quick. No, 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 no. Or Idris, Idris is like Green Lantern. Yeah, I would character. definitely do Idris Green Lantern. Terry, Terry Crews just nah. He, he, he would have to be like a you know. And I just don't know who he could be. Who is a big goofy Marvel strong guy? What about no? And like I, uh, I just don't think it. I can't think. Especially of it. not one that would contribute so heavily to the story. I just can't right really Grundy. Think. I I could maybe see Grundy on Terry Crews, but he's Grundy. just too a little little too serious. Like, can you imagine? He's just so Terry Crews. Terry Crews is just this. too goofy, man. He's just. Terry Crews is Grundy. Yeah, ah. Grundy. Maybe if he was like a character like Groot, and he voiced like a character in that sort of way. Maybe I think that would actually be even worse. I think he'd play the physicality so? <laughs> better than ah. the... Terry Crews, man. Just imagine him saying, it's like, Terry Crews, born on a Monday. 
he not just tarnished confused, himself a little bit for me. Like the, he belongs in rom coms and stuff. It, it is. It's all. He's just like he plays a very good comedic character right, like that. Like, like a rom com. Maybe, ooh, you know what? Absorbing Man is not bad choice for Terry Crews. He could play the character that is the Absorbing Man. Actually, what about the Wrecking Crew? Maybe uh, uh, someone from the Wrecking Crew. You're gonna have to remind me who the Wrecking Crew. You know, is. oh, it's uh, the Wrecker. Uh, oh God, Izzy, name off the Wrecking Crew. <laughs> um, like, Titania was a vent- was a part of them at some point. She mostly runs mm-hmm. around with someone else. You now, have to send me those, bro. Because the Wrecker and Titania, uh, he's they're big Thor enemies. Okay. Because the Wrecker has like an enchanted crowbar that was enchanted by the same Asgardian magic as Thor's Mjolnir ish kind of stuff. Awesome. Or at least yeah, similar. I'm down to check that out. Has there ever away. been a black guy as Hulk? No, but that would be interesting. Uh, he did uh, say he wanted to be Luke cookies. Cage, but since he didn't get that, he was thinking Silver Surfer. That. Pulverizer, yes, pulverizer Silver would Surfer. be. But I'm like I'm thinking sure about that. You, one. you know the guy that walks around with the giant uh, uh, wrecking ball? And like throws it around, he's part of the wrecking crew. Let me see. Part of them. <laughs> like I said it's, it's Marvel's wrecking, the wrecking crew. crew. That's awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, like Thor I said, these has guys a hard time taking them on. Well, he does, but Adam's they fine. they talk about it in the comics that that the reason for that is he holds back. Against, <laughs> he, I, I believe it. Well, they talk about it. he's like Superman. The fact that he basically holds back all the time, he even can against strong easily people. Easily injure. Well, and it's he, it's one of those things where it's like if you if Hulk or Thor goes full out, he's in the two planet, years, man. Yeah, he wielded them greatly. But so, uh, yeah, he's that says a lot. He's a super strong character. But the big thing being with Thor was always like I said, he he can't go full out because if he goes full out on Earth's atmosphere. They said he can't even go his full speed. He tear up out the atmosphere. He couldn't. Jeez, like he Thor's a planet buster. Like Absorbing Man hammer. is my favorite from the crew. Yeah, Absorbing Man is pretty great. Although he's like loosely affiliated with the crew, right? Like he's not a hard part of them all the time. Yeah, please send me these comics. This one awesome. Marvel's Wrecking Crew. Let's see. But um, tying it back around a little bit to Homecoming. Right. Definitely the strong the the best thing about this movie is the strong sense of Peter in it. Yes, um, so I much... didn't get a really good strong vibe out of Peter in the other movies. I felt like it was a heavy Spider Man, and I was down for that in the first one. But I was like, I want a little bit of Peter development in the second one. And then in the second one, I felt like the relationship with Mary Jane was odd. The whole second um, one was the, a little the off depression little... feeling was like kind of weird. I'm like, it, there was it, a it's lot. not even timed right. Like, I mean, he's gone through big, heavy things in his life, but, like, yeah, over this, like... This there was that one point he got like, buried alive after getting, like, uh, hunted down by Craven. Yeah, that was, like, w- for a while there, he was, like, traumatized. Was just which like, was craziness. On. Shake it off. But, oh, here, I found a picture so you can uh, see. Oh, sweet. Some classic Thor. Oh, yeah, and I guess they actually originally appear in the Spider-Man comics. As uh, they appear as a cleanup crew for superhuman battles. I must just be slipping my mind then, because they're like, super they're huge. Spider-Man. They appear in they appear in almost everything: Bulldozer, Thunderball, and Pile Driver. They're in almost all the forms of current uh, Avenger slash Marvel awesome. media. Obs- I, I think Azorbi Man is one of my favorite villains of all time. Period, because mm-hmm. he just. There's so many cool ones. Like, one, I remember... But where could you see him fitting in here? Oh, man, he can go anywhere is the great part about him because he's just a thug. He's a very powerful thug, but he's a good... <laughs> he's he's just... It's just like taking, the you know, any any super villain and then just powering him up, basically. They just do what they do for money. Power Driver, that was it. That's the one I was thinking of. I mean, I like Sam attempted at Spider-Man 2 with the comic story of him losing his power and throwing the suit away. I like that because that was a homage to the comics. Yep. It was very similar. That very similar. Well, even comics. when he didn't lose his powers, he often thought about quitting. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of times Spider-Man's just like, I'm Walking fucking away done with the this. trash can. There's like, spider suit, they're like, oh man, just imagine all the, just clip all those <laughs> scenes together of Peter throwing away his spider suit and be like, this is why you have no suits. And I thought that was... That's what I liked about Spider Man too was that nod right there. Oh, there like, was it was like, and there were they a did few a good job at the too. nods in Spider Man two. Yeah, the that was the best the referenced one. I would I would say, oh, three 
trash. Three um, was trash all around. Just trash. Every there level was just, of three. nothing was going. Nothing was going. The right. only part of three that was accurate at all was Sandman's relationship with his daughter, and the reason how he was. I mean uh, that too, but and then not the character, but the actual interaction between. And not, like, even on a personal level, but the actual what happened between Peter and Brock of the photo f- uh, forgery or whatever, mm-hmm. where he uh, takes a picture that Peter had made and colors Spider-Man black so that he can get the scoop, the scoop. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Which is trying to get the story out. The The thing I liked about this is, like, it was like Sandman was. He does dirty things for, for the good, good, you know? And it's yep, like... Definitely not to his character. Because... You should Very see, accurate. I mean, I'm even, I was reading one of the Renew Your Vows comics, I think. Oh, man. And they have little side comics oh, where it's back. like this. There you go. Well, this is the new Renew Your Vows series. Gotcha. Um, and basically in it, it's just like, hey, I'm, he's like stumbles upon Sandman and they start, and he's got his daughter with him. Mm-hmm. And Sandman's like, what, who's that? It's like, this is my daughter. And then there's something that's like, can you watch her for a while? And then they was like... He <laughs> basically babysits her all day, and then Peter comes Sandman. back and catches him. Yeah, it's great. That's awesome. I wonder, it might even be on here, but... Three was so bad, I blocked it from my memories. All I remember is emo Spider-Man. Yes, that's <laughs> good. Three was good. Bad. Yeah, block it and forever. And the church scene in Spider-Man 3, the, every scene in... Oh, no, 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 he's mit- referencing the... Ch- uh, even that one, like the no, the church scene the where he bells it out. Yeah, the bell thing. Was but those weird. the the thing problem but was that, it was but like it happens. I mean, I would love a sound. Spider-Man movie that I would love a Renew Your Vows Spider-Man movie because Renew Your Vows Spider-Man is the Spider-Man that everyone loved until the Mephisto switch, which was Renew by the way vows, the Spidey. best version of Spider that ever existed in my opinion. Just my opinion. But for real, I mean, he had every... That was the only time in any of the comics, even till now, where he had everything together. Mm-hmm. He had a good All job. All together. Because he, he was working at the... at uh, I forgot, Alltech or something? With the... Yeah. Whatever the... Some kind of technology. But yeah, he was finally remember. a scientist. Not a doctor, but he was a scientist. Accomplished, man. I mean, mm-hmm. not a teacher anymore. No, but he was a... accomplished. And getting paid for it. His family had a stable thing. He wasn't just shooting photos and barely getting paid for it anymore. He was done with school at that time. I mean, he, he just had it all together, and this was a Spider-Man MJ, we'd never seen. No, and, now, and we're probably never going to see him again, except for in that alternate universe one, because I shit you not, is they that just what don't... the new one is going Yeah, it's, re, it's a Renew Your Vow. It's awesome. basically as if, if Mephisto thing had never happened, Wow, is the assumption. And the cool part is, is it includes other people in the universe, too. So it's like... What? Thir- third chapter, they go to the X-Men, because it turns out that... Their daughter is a mutant. Boom. Okay. Yep. Drums. Bop. Bops. Drums. Damn. Definitely, I late me to that as well. That oh, is you, going on the you list. know it, bro. It is so good. They do the whole thing with the moment. Oh, and then and I love and, that uh, period. And, of and it's literally it's literally right there after the Regent saga. So then uh-huh. MJ has the Regent spider suit. Yeah. What? And so she's. Oh, it's Please. so yes, good. Link me in. So good. Yep. Big show arc. I think it was called. Hate that Spider Man story. Yep. Yep, hey, I hate that Samantha, story. thanks Hi, for coming Samantha. in. Thanks Top for all in. Spider-Man. All Spider-Man all day. Well, today at least. <laughs> Definitely. Let's <laughs> check something. Make sure everything's running smooth. Okay. Doing well, good. guys. But thank you guys so much for coming in tonight. What did, oh, what did yeah. you guys really like about Spider-Man Homecoming? And what did you not, like about... Yeah, and what did you not like about it? And also let us know, um, if you haven't seen it, what are you looking forward to? Right, what do you hope what, to what see? What do you hope to see in this film? What do you want to see? And you know what? I got it. I went in with a, lo- a low expectation, actually. Because I was just like, I don't want to pump it up so that it's full of air. And it's, I do that It's going to be the perfect... Nope. I have let go, especially after like some of the Previous, biggest yeah. disappointments that I've ever had. One of the biggest being Batman versus Superman, because that was one I had to renew that personality for. I'm like, it's, it's like before good. that, yeah, it's, it's gonna like, be good. But oh. like after that, I just lost. And I keep all and I keep telling you that it's like be careful with Justice League, man. You don't. I want to be shaken so bad. I want to be like, Justice League is going to be great, but I don't know if it's going to be. I, I think it will, and that's the thing. I'm so scared because I want to hope for it. I, I, I just, just want to hope I for it. I do too, but you just, just like, never know. And it's the same with Star Wars. Like, yeah. it's all of them. 
Every every installment now is like uh, uh especially miss. like you said, and that's the problem. That was the what we were saying was like this. If this Spider Man had not went, gone through well, which it is, it's going very well, great reviews, outperforming every other. Even movie. the crowd is loving it. Well, like I said, everyone's they're doing the memes now of the. It's like oh, Wonder Woman fans, and then the Spidey, Spidey movie, movie came out. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. yeah, they don't brush them aside. You know, the next superhero movie will just. Like you said, when Thor out. comes out, we'll see how it goes. I think this Thor is going to be. It's the gonna best be good because, yet. geez, it's like there's a little bit less of this darkness. I'm stuff not for excited Jane for Justice and... League movie. Very disappointed in the villain now for Stephen Wolf. Stephen really. Wolf, wow. My, MJ and Venom in Renew Your Vows. Can't wait to read the next issue. Oh, geez, I forgot they just got to that. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, Which is cool because I think it's link. I think it's tying into Venomverse too, isn't it? Is he? <gasps> Guys, which I'm too into that. Which is pretty. I don't I don't like the way they did. Why I just, am I miss this? I'm not a fan of Gwenpool though. So it's one of those concepts I like, but I just can't. I it's the stories are so hard for me to get Didn't excited even for. Give, give that one a chance. <laughs> it, it's not even that. Like I went through and it's. She's interesting. The stories revolving around her aren't mm-hmm. because she knows uh, she's in a comic book. Gotcha. She, so she breaks the fourth wall. Oh, all, she's a hundred percent, hundred way worse than any other character I've ever seen. She literally's like, "I came from this world, from the real world. You guys are all characters. I can kill anyone I want. It doesn't matter because no, literally, dude. Wow. Like she's talking to Venom and like, kill him. You know, this isn't a real universe. This is a thing. I'm like, he should be like, erased." It's literally like none of these people matter. They don't know you. It's like what is going on with this character? Was not a fan of X twenty three art for Edge of Venomverse. Really, I thought that one was okay. I'm not. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I didn't like the um. Who was it that they had? I don't know if it was Hulk or someone else big, but they had someone I wasn't a fan of. That they got the yeah, Venom I treatment. I, so like I said, of... they got the Gwen. That was the one actually. I didn't like the Gwenpool Venom. She couldn't even t- say her own name right. It's like, oh, Gwenpool Num. It's like, she's literally, she couldn't come up with anything. Oh. Like, when you can't come up with a good name for a character, you've added too much shit in. I'm already done. By the way, I was wrong. Leaked pictures of Wally and Barry's running suit from The Flash are online. Yep. Yeah, I saw Officially those recently. From the, yep. the, from the set. Looks pretty awesome. I was hoping... I I I like dark I, I totally dark feel you because that's what I thought originally because they had the parademons they had the mother box technology already it looked in there. like it was set up for that but the problem would have been that they would have repeated the same, same mistake same mistake as Wonder Woman you cannot set your biggest and villain BBS. first yes I was just like gosh that's such You're, a big yeah villain same to thing have so early like you said all right it's like we. It, same with Zod. Like, every villain they put in his Yeah, way. Zod is even a powerful villain for Superman. I'm like, okay, so you go from Zod, and then the Lex, like, Zod at least and has that powers. Yeah. yeah, and that Lex. And, Not, and like, then this Zod was so weird, too, the way they did this Zod as opposed to... An, the actual Zod. Yeah, man. like I said, Zod's usually a threat because... He's just straight up beats the shit out of Superman. Like he's bigger, stronger, faster, Tony, more yeah. mili- military trained. Beat the crap out of Supes. He's been through com- more combat. He's been through more combat training from the Kryptonians. You know, he's just a more powerful. He was a military leader for years. He, he spent recently spending time in the Phantom Zone. Literally made him larger than the average Kryptonian by like feet. Jeez. He was like twelve feet tall or something. What? It was ridiculous. Insane. He was insane. And now, I don't know if you're recalling, now him, Cyborg Superman, Mongol, and the Eliminator are teamed up. What? Yes. Are they in soups? Yeah. In action? Uh, you get to see them for a little while. I, I mean, they're it's still in the middle. Of the I think it's, at, well, it's either or is it action or Superman. I don't know which one's. They, one they intermingle a lot. Uh, so. They do, that, those, These ones are separate again, though. But oh, I think that's it's, good. Oh no, these ones are super crossed actually because they there's actually a yeah, about this like, in Suicide was, Squad. It was so like, this geez, starts so in Suicide mix. Squad, or no, it starts Superman then to Suicide Squad then. The, <laughs> Here we go! Come on, dude. The so thing is good tie-ins and too many tie-ins, and DC is starting to err on the side of Marvel with too many tie-ins. And some of them are staying separate, but oh, DC needs to take lessons from MCU on how to bring their villains out. I think yes and no. The problem being the MCU villains have the opposite problem being that if you kill off all your villains right away, what do you what do What happens, yeah. Because they did a good job. Like, the only difference for those being maybe the Avengers you hyped up, although even then they 
put Ultron a... way too. There's way there's too levels to this shit. He's just obliterated. He's gone. He's yeah, gone. he's gone. He, and and in and the it, comics, Ultron, that's not how it works. Exactly. Ultron's and the same with gone. Guardians of the Galaxy. DCU is going so bad. Oh man, we've been waiting several years for Thanos, and I think that's great. At least two more years, but the build up is amazing. Yeah, seeing Thanos is going to be like cream my pants. Honestly, no. Yeah, I was just though. Guardians of the Galaxy. That was the bad thing about the first film. Is like. Jeez, you just had a pretty good villain, and he got eliminated so quickly. I, I like this. Sorry, sorry. I left abruptly early. I had to go to work and was thinking serious about who could play Blade besides Wesley Snipes. Tech Nine, he could play Blade. <laughs> Tech Nine, I'd see it if you. If, I don't know how his acting yeah, is. Sorry, I'm nah. super late. Currently in Turkey. It's six a.m. here. Why are wow. you in Turkey, Josh? What? That's awesome, dude. Take Come a picture. Comic Convo's yeah. picture from Turkey, Josh. Take a picture. Ask sure. someone, ask somebody to take a picture with you and say it's, you know, you're in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's awesome. Or right, even just a picture. I think he's outside. probably on there for a guy. I believe he does archaeology or or Dude, that's uh, awesome man. or not archaeology. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the other one. It's is, uh, it's the other one that's archaeology. Really, is it archaeology? Okay, so it is archaeology <laughs> work. I thought it was anthropology was what I thought There it you was, go, but, man. That's awesome. But that's awesome. Sweet. Enjoy the travels. Enjoy the archaeology work. Yeah, enjoy work turkey, man. Enjoy the archaeology and, and, and uh, all the expertise. And stuff. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah, dude. I, I hope you're having fun. It's a nice opportunity. Thanks for tuning in. But I guess we'll turn a little bit back to the DCEU since uh, we had that comment from before. Yes, it's getting bad. But Wonder Woman was a little bit of possible redeeming. Like, the thing is, Wonder Woman is Justice great. League. I still love Wonder Woman. Like, there's nothing wrong. I know, with the and movie. it's just I, I don't I I don't know what I could think about Justice League, man. I need another trailer. Well, I, even not even that. I just no. We just I'm need to see the movie. It's yeah, just, there's no, no way. expectations. Like I said nothing. we've got. All right, so here's the list of things that are going on. We've got next month, the Defenders. See, and Punisher off. should be yep. coming out. At least Punisher, somewhere in there, too. Not in August, I don't think. I no, think it's it, coming. I thought it was October. It's either October or early November. I have to check that one out. It might be October. I think it is. Yep, and then we... So we got that coming out in October. Then in... Oh, also in October, we have the DCE... Or the DC Arrowverse shows coming back. That's good. Um, we need so more. Arrow, Flash, Legend, I, I just Super don't know besides... Girl. Yeah, I gotta... I think there was one that. more. iZombie might be in that universe now. I can't remember what I else. I thought they were adding Black Lightning or something else. Black too, Lightning. But, but, Wonder um, Woman was so predictable. But not, not bad. bad. Pretty predictable, yeah. It was, but I liked it. The I thing, it here, and honestly, the, here's the thing: I think the, the ending is the biggest thing for me, and I still would have loved to get to the end and be <sighs> like, <laughs> I, I would have loved for them to get to the end and be like, no, people just, just kill each other. That's just what they do. It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? There is like, and then later for the Aries to be revealed, yeah, so yeah, like, be, be under co- covered stuff. But the problem, and the problem with that is they did the same thing that they did in BBS, random. Spontaneous. It's, it's very strange. Yes. But at least there's some action and good. That, that better hit us great. with a hypernova bomb when Ragnar come, comes out because Wonder Woman gave them a huge blow to the nuts. Spidey. Yeah, no, Spidey Homecoming is already beating out Wonder Woman, so yeah. I would say that's an inaccurate Spidey statement. Spidey Homecoming is already number one in the box office. Um, Wonder Woman has been knocked down for a couple weeks. Uh, even more than that, I think had like Spider Man's Returns beat Wonder Woman on opening weekend. Uh, the MCU Wait, is not in any talking, trouble. Are, I'm I, talking, I think we're just talking Homecoming, right? I'm just talking Homecoming, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homecoming What's... opening weekend was pretty Big, insane. Huge. Uh, yeah, I would just say that's not very accurate. If that's your opinion, I appreciate it, but all stats would suggest that Marvel still rules the cinematic universe they do, very for sure. I mean, very we hard. Only have, we only have uh, Batman versus... Or, that, that's terrible. So we only have Wonder Woman, really, out of Batman versus... Well, Man of Man. Steel technically counts for that, but even then, it's... Shaky. I don't know. Sorry, I think that, that there's also the line of... Don't forget, there are the people who actually like those movies. There, there are, are people who like those movies. I, so I can't don't. discount those. Yeah, yeah. They've as much as we might... Decent. Regardless of that, let's count the number of releases this year. For each studio, we've got the two releases for DC, which are going to be Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman and Justice League. Good. We've got how many releases for Marvel? We've got Spider Man, Spider Man, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. We Thor. have Thor, and you, it's Even, not Marvel Studios, but it's, it's Marvel Fox property Logan. Logan. And all of those, all of those movies, arguably performed at about the same level as Wonder Woman. Yep. 
And or better, Logan, slightly better, or worse. Logan oh, yeah. was so good. Oh, yeah. I, so much better than Wonder Woman honestly, by so yeah. far. I, I, that was my, that's my favorite of the year. The so hype far. was totally different from Wonder Woman to Spidey. I love the joke Deadpool versus Punisher number five made about the Batman. Oh, yeah, that was great. Now we have this deep connection between us because our muzzlers are the same name. Yeah, DC is a shaky ground. The Wonder Woman is making me mummy just because it's Wonder Woman. Box office doesn't look like how good the movie was for sure. Oh, so uh, but Wonder Woman is still rated and people... No, and Mar- really that's the thing. That I'm not saying movie. it's a bad movie, and it does even have good reviews and good Rotten Tomatoes scores, etc. But like Absolutely. I said, even if you go they by those right, standards, but... let, like I said, go by those standards and still go back and make the comparison I made before with four... Marvel title based movies doing as Dominic. good or better. And then if we're just counting Disney, Star Wars. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, then and there's like, no even. Wow, there's then no there's not even a contest. And, and like I said, we can trace this back for like the last 10 years. This isn't a new trend. This is. Marvel's common. been doing this for a while. Yep, it's. And like I said, it's like saying. DC, you know, it's like saying Marvel's giving DC a run for their money because they did an animated movie. Yeah, and I was going like, to say, I know uh, DC has the animated films coming out. Yeah, that's the only Titans. part where I would agree that, but and like you said, with that, like you said, that's my comparison because DC rules the animated movie. Oh, universe. absolutely. Now, that's not to say Marvel doesn't release titles. It does. They just, and that's not, not to say they do do advertising. Yeah. They, now well, they pushed. Like, it's... No, and like I said, it's not to say they don't even do well, but it's about numbers, and it, numbers don't lie. At the end of the day, that's what it's... I go exactly what DCU needs to get on the ball. Um, I think with Wonder Woman, I'm hoping they have. Like I said, if they... I really hope... Which, they, and people don't like highway. this either, but Marvel, or Wonder Woman is very essentially a rip uh, heavily of Marvel's movie... F- uh, the formula. formula. Yeah, and if you don't believe me, how many of count how many people scenes. like actually die in that that movie compared to other DC movies or even Marvel movies is a a staggeringly low number. Yeah, and and that was one thing I was like, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, they do rule the animation squad, no doubt. Like, oh, and even in comics right now, so DC good. is pulling ahead in comics Judas right Contract now. Contract so good. Good. except Such for except for the relationship between Terra and Beast Boy. Deathstroke on that oh, one. That was ooh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I was like, I was like, what the hell? This is some nasty stuff. I'm like, wait, what, what are they implying here? Because somebody she's supposed asked to be it. super young. Like, she's supposed to be Beast Boy's age, even though I know she's not. Not in that one. It, regardless it's of how old like, she, was, she was, yeah, like, come on. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, DC's all, has always <laughs> ruled the animation movies. Yeah, bro, since I was the not beginning, into since that DC one. I mean, I mean that into part, that yeah. relationship. That relationship was weird. But, and I will say, DC's even pulling ahead pretty far in comics, in my opinion. They're doing really good. The Rebirths, I'm a lot in tune with. Every I'm super not in movie is going to make Marvels. tons of cash regardless, and it could be absolute trash awful, but if it makes money, we'll see. And that's my point, Sai, is it, it, it has to make money... And get popular. It has to be both a and, little and, bit. Because, like, even... We talked about it, the Raimi films. None of them made an extraordinary amount. They they made about three the times... The were widely regarded as great, fantastic movies. And so they and determined so they, they could make going. more money. Yeah. yeah, they were like, we can... I, I definitely did. Uh, didn't they make, like, a little bit more on two than three? Uh, Am I, I not definitely mistaken? think so, yeah. Yeah, like... Most certainly like, think oh, so. Shoot, and and that's the other thing we have trash. to take in account for with 3 Even. 3 Even's got decent sales, but a lot of that is due to what I call the hype factor. Yeah, it is. Everyone Everybody's rushes in train. to see a movie, a superhero movie, in the first couple weeks. Really, like, a lot of people are on that shit. Like, yep. me and you see Jump it right on usually, it. like, the first night. I'm shoot. excited for Generations, though, for Marvel. I'm excited. I want to see how they coexist. That video you put out earlier made me think of it, because I think... Can I some catch of that them, video? Because I'm just not... Guys, I'm just not. It's just, they're just basically bringing back all their legacy characters, I guess. Uh, so they're bringing back. How's that gonna work? It's just, it's not that part. Is it it's another the, universe? No, or? it's just, I don't know. They're like supposedly they're going either to the past or the future as like a team, like 10,000 BC. So not even like oh 1960 or whatever. Oh. But like it's a huge, huge like crazy time travel slash. There's the death of Thor thing going on. Like we, there's a lot going on that does have me excited for generations especially if it gets us away from the secret empire crap i cannot there's even even the stuff i like in secret empire pisses me off so i won't read it dude don't like i'm just not even gonna bother with secret empire it just sounds like a terrible terrible there, the, like i said me. even the one i just read which was the contest of champions tie-in for it they're like rescuing in humans million contest BC. of champions tie-in oh yeah or no 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 sorry champ just champions time 
The Champions. Oh, oh, I thought you contest. meant that little cheesy game. Or... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it was like, no. dude, The Contest of Champions was another one that they did, which was basically a remake of Battle World. Gotcha. Which gotcha. was really good, actually. That was really good. Because I was, was before. I was but to, the Champions <laughs> is a new team that is, is a remake of an old, you know what I mean, team, which is hmm. the New Hulk... Looks the like Vision's a daughter. Up a little comments there. I agree with the comics. They'd be having a great run. I'm reading back issues right now. Hell on Earth. They're pretty good, yeah. Oh. I've, I've read those ones. Nice. I want to see the Dark Days and the Forge stuff. A million BC? Yeah, it's it's like a million BC. It's pretty good. Would they travel back? Yeah, Avengers of BC. So BC, Ghost Rider, Black Panther, and a couple other awesome characters. Nice. That'll be interesting. That's dope, man. Like I said, that... Marvel just has to get its head around the fact that not everything has to be a tie-in and, and an event. You can have... Don't solo. tie the shows in, please. Like, leave them separate. Oh, like, they, they really... I'm just... I have it. The problem is they take... They're not tying in, but they're taking so many aspects from the movies and the shows and changing I know, characters that and, they, fit and I just don't need them to change that up for the shows. Leave, leave them separate. Leave them be. Hey, thanks for the like, Levi. Thank you so much, man. BVS was crazy overhyped, which isn't bad, but high walls fall harder. Wasn't great regardless, but high hopes being smashed makes people dislike stuff more. Definitely. Very true. It, very it causes, true. and I think that's the Give problem with, here, y'all. I think that's the problem with See? Batman vs. Superman, because I don't think Batman vs. Superman is actually that bad of a movie. It's no. just not as good, as, nearly as good as it should be. It, like I said, that movie should be freaking outstanding. Standing. They've had 60 years to plan it. It's not. It's not outstanding. It's We're talking Hi, Batman Shanna. versus Superman. Hey, Shanna. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming out. Again. Yeah, and like I said, the the big issue being, like, I, I agree with Zach that DCU focused so heavily on Batman to carry them. I mean, even the next couple films coming out, yeah, we do have Cyborg and, and maybe Flash to Aquaman. But we also have the Batgirl talks. We have the the and Nightwing I'm not, talks. I'm, I'm not the, ready for that. I'm not. They're ready, not ready man. for that. They they just lost the story on the Batman film. Yeah, they did. And then the Flash director's gone. They don't even have di- director yet. Still, he's, after he's these, Batman. These he does months. everything. I like that, Mike. I like that one. The thing with generations though is they want to please Marvel fanboys by bringing back legacy characters, but keeping all the new characters they have made around. Which I think they can do as long as they do it. Hey, if they pull it off, that's cool. That's all yeah, you have to do is I, do it I effectively. Be bad with that. Because I like a lot of the new characters. I love Jane Foster's Thor. I love Amadeus Cho as the Hulk. Exactly, but you don't want them to diminish and tear right, down. I the still love you Bruce love. Banner. I still love the Odinson. Still love I still love Logan. Wolverine. Yeah, the original Wolverine, not just this. Wolverine, not just Laura, not yes. just original. Like, uh, there's tons of others, but it's like Cap, Cap. Oh God, can we just get regular? Cap. I would be happy with any of the Cap. other Cap versions that we have had ever before this, including U.S. Soldier, The Punisher, and look, any of even them The Punisher. I'm down. The, the Punisher Cap America would be better than this. I'm even down. He would be Cap. putting bullets in and criminals' he's... heads, but at least he would not. <laughs> right, I'm like he's not exactly Cap, but I mean he was for a while. Sheesh, but... That would be awesome to have a no, a more, just not a Hydra supporter. Someone who's su- like I said, why did why did we have to make Cap? Hydra. Like I said, you can't make Cap the exact opposite of everything Even if he's it's ever just stood because for. of the cosmic cube or whatever. I don't care. I, I don't care. It's too much. Care. His his Cap like will should be able to refuse. It. Exactly. He should be like, no, I am Cap. I am I truth, and for justice, truth and justice, just freedom, and exactly. not fascism, and not everything that's uh, the exact opposite of what fought I am. against for freaking eighty years against, or something guys. like now. That's how what his character Flash is going to be compared to the. TV Flash for sure. It's gonna be hard to beat Wallace Flash Reverse Flash too. He was so good. He was. Wells is the best part. I of loved that series, Wells. Honestly. I really did. He made. And I it. hear. I mean, I hear Legend season two not there yet. Heard he comes back up even better. I'm hearing. Let us do a lot. Better. There's some cool stuff. Um, I'm Are you still on? Ca- I'm Legend still catching up. Yeah, I just started season two the other day. I'm still on one. It's pretty interesising. But hard to, it's yeah, hard I think it's gonna be. One. I think there is going to be comparisons, and I wish people wouldn't, honestly, because they're two different takes on the diff- on the same character. Obviously, um, the other thing is I'm not exactly excited necessarily for Ezra. I want to see how he depicts. Like we haven't seen enough of him as Flash to know how good he's going to be. Oh, you're talking the new Ezra Miller Flash? Yeah. yeah. 
I, I don't know. Maybe the, just maybe his ultimate cap in America. <laughs> Even ultimate cap is better than this. Anything. Anything. Bring back ultimate cap. Over this ultimate clap. cap is better. I, I like almost every version of cap better than this version of cap. <sighs> I will never agree with cap that supports Hydra, man. Like I said, you can't have the symbol. Even the Cosmic Cube. I know a lot of people are like, well, it's the Cosmic Cube. I, I don't know care. it's the Cosmic Cube. It's just such a bad plot point. Yeah. It's like, it's, oh, and then having it. doesn't matter if it's the Cosmic Cube or not. It's lazy. Cap should well, be able to battle other, through that. That's the other thing is it's it's really lazy writing. I it's, definitely it's like ah, oh, I just want an idea and yep, I'm not gonna pop go it in whatever. I'm not. That's one thing. So I started it. reading Deadpool uh, kills the Marvel Universe again. How uh, ridiculous that got! Oh no, I mean again, they're doing another run. They're doing a second Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. How's that going? I actually like it much better than the first really? one so far. It's only one in. Uh, it's clever again on some of the kills, mm -hmm. so that's cool. They don't show a lot so far. Some of them not. There's stuff that I'm still like. You know what I mean? But they did... It's it's a little bit of combo. The best part about it and being different than the other one, though, is it's kind of running in tandem with this universe. Not, like, actually this universe, but it's, like, taking the assumption that we are in the current version run of Marvel things, at least basic for similar. It's like, all right, we are we have the rogue Synapse Avengers team. We have the, you know, this team. You know, it's set in the current Marvel paradigm, okay, but so... it's in a separate version of the universe. You know, it's not canon. So gotcha, it's, so it's a split off in this new universe. Right, and it's okay. and it's actually, like, before it was kind of like that, but it was so wishy-washy on any real details about what, it's like, what's he doing here? What's this doing here? He just did it, and it was like, that doesn't really Right, and this sense. one, that yeah, and this one, it makes sense. It's like, oh, why is he doing it? I won't spoil, but there's oh, a reason. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's no, it's not just Deadpool decided to kill the universe. Like the little cage one, I'm like... Even that one, like, Coffee. we talked about it even, I too. That one that. was cool, but we've talked about the fact that even Luke Cage's internal organs are, are, like are, iron. are like iron. Now, that's not to say that one wouldn't work. Like, that was a decent kill on that one. The one they did in this one's actually much better. I don't like it because of the setup they did on it. I want to ruin it, but I, I know you want to go read don't. it now. I know. That's why I'm like, I want to <laughs> Do just not. talk about it, but I know that you're going to go no read ruining. that one. Um, Ultimate Cap was kind of an asshole. He was not kind of an asshole. He was really an asshole. He was still and better I still would like him. He, he, the, Ultimate Cap's son disliked him so much he cut off his face and became the Red Skull. Just think if we had a really good TV Batman wouldn't right want now, how would Affleck look as much as we shouldn't compare, we will. Wouldn't want Cap outshined. Oh, wow. I'm going to say we were just trying to apply logic to anything Deadpool does. The thing is, Deadpool is is illogical to a point, but he, he like he has a modus operandi, like, for sure. And, like, he does things for very actual simple reasons. One, because he wants to. Like, the one in the Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe wouldn't have been so bad if they hadn't done both. They I did not get that comment. Which one? The... I was going to say... Because I was trying to figure out where you were reading from. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Did sick. not get that one. And that's why I think Ultimate Cap is Hydra Cap. I, I mean, maybe he is, and I think that would be a better explanation than what they're doing now. Hmm. I would like it better, and may, and some of what they've shown has kind of suggested that. I don't, you got to read some of the secrets. Yeah, but I just don't the thing is, the, the, the story's still very mushy. Like, not set. So it's we're six issues in, and I don't know shit about what, why, where it's going. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm like, wow. all right, this That's is the world now. That's a good chunk in, too. No, so six like, issues what? is... So we skipped a couple comments back. Sorry. Um, we got size. Just think if we had a really good TV Batman right now, how would Affleck look? As much as we shouldn't compare, we will. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm... depending on which TV verse he's in, I really don't think I'm screaming for him to be in either one. I How said I still haven't seen enough process. I still haven't seen enough of his Batman to see. It's a no, well, he's you know Bruce Wayne, so that's the best part about it is that Gotham is about the others, you know. So there's no Batman, right? But, but I think he's yeah. more in the in Arrowverse, etc. <sighs> nope. By the way, nope, next sorry. week's Game of Thrones week Sunday. Yes. yes. That's why I think Ultimate Cap is Hydra Cap. Yes, I mean we've a lot of people think that. But it's not... You have no clue what's going on. It's more of a mystery than anything, especially this other Steve. Definitely, I don't know what's up with Otherworld. Steve, Bucky, and I believe it's... It's literally everyone else who's been capped. I don't know what... Wow, the they're issue. just existing in one universe? They're like... 
they're not even like in the jungle. Like, that's odd. Yeah, it's weird, dude. It's so fucking weird. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, he doesn't know what's going on, and I know he keeps up heavily with it's it, It's just too. like, is it in 616? It, or? I, no clue. No f- clue, dude. They're, everything is... Is it in Hydra so, Caps? Is it in this new... I mean, it's... <laughs> it's in Secret it's Empire. Empire. It's a part of the story? It's part of the story. They just exist in the forest? They're just... I, yeah, that's it's fucking... It's like, who are you? I don't know. Who are you? I don't know. It's like literally it ultimate versions or like I don't know. It doesn't tell us, dude. Like you don't know what's going on. Alright, I might have to crack that open then. That's the only good part though so far and like, it's what's, so what's minor. up with that mystery. It's it's the only thing Did keeping me. They just me pop interested. up once? Yeah, or? no, they popped up like three times now, but it's always for like a page. It's literally like a page, dude. maybe two pages of what they're doing. And they're not doing that. anything. Like I said, this is the only part that's keeping me like tied in because if this didn't exist that little piece i would be like pissed off beyond all reason right oh wow i i can't believe that that actually sounds like a pretty good series after i heard it's that not, mystery like it doesn't the series doesn't change the, just the possibility of what's coming changes the curiosity like, is nice it, it added curiosity that's for that's sure. why i hope the climax for the story and the payoff is really good for secret empire it better be because if y'all can if spoil it, it for me then i'll go read it <laughs> it's like i'll let you know if it's worth reading how yeah that let me know because so far we're let six issues know. in and i'm still pissed and i'm reading the side content to try to make myself feel better i'm reading and even then, some of the psycho like if you read the Is Steve Rogers Captain America stuff right now, ah, oh, it pisses me the fuck off. See, uh, that I can't involve myself in that right now. Like they're literally, it's like you know this, and then it's the this, and then it's, I'm just not like, gonna read them. Like I said, that the the contest of champion ones got me bad because they like have inhuman, uh, basically, uh, not concentration, but what's the the other term? It's uh. It's a camp, but I can't remember. There's another term for besides the, the the concentration camp. There's, it's basically the same thing. They just don't actively kill people. Mm. It's it's yeah. I just don't know, man. Marvel for me right now is not going too well. DC, on the other hand, very strong. On Although them. I will say their overarching universe shit is still so convoluted. DCs or Marvels? DCs. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's. Guys. It's it's just because they're trying. But the problem is they're like I said, they're doing the Marvel shit where they're tying it all in. But I'm like left in the fucking dark until November when they actually drop it. Oh man, see, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait and then catch up. No problem. I said it's just. Um, ah, but so thinking good. about what we're what's uh, looking ahead, we got Game of Thrones coming up next week. We'll be having. Excuse me, babe. An interview with uh, Shannon Mora and Governor Song, in, yep. who we talked about last week. Very and fantastic. Maybe we could talk about Game of Thrones. Yep, and we'll be setting that up, uh, figuring that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we can make that a Game of Thrones episode. We'll have to check uh, with our guests. Unfortunately, usually we don't have to check with our <laughs> guests, but you still got to, you know, check it out. You know, definitely make sure. But we'll try to get a little bit of Game of Thrones content thrown At the very up. Least, sure, yeah. And um, I also want to throw a little shout out to this TV show called Keloid. It's actually like a web show going on right now. Um, they followed and supported my Instagram. Thank you guys so much. And then I got to watch the first, ep- very first episode of their TV show Keloid. Really good show, guys. Really good show. Um, it definitely talks about a, a boy and his mom in an urban situation. You know, it's great to see African American actors once again take some screen at time as heroes, especially as major characters. Most of the cast is African American. It's nice to see that. Um, and also, the story itself is just really good too. You've got the t- the mom and the son, and there's definitely a situation going on with his powers. He has the powers of electricity, teleportation, um, and various other ones, and. Uh, the first episode, just how things go down, you can tell that they're running away constantly because something is happening, and you're kind of and it leaves you on edge because you're like, what's going on with him? So it's it's a really good show, guys. Really got to check it out. Um, I will drop a link and definitely on the page. Where can I catch it? I'll definitely drop a link on the page, and then I'll post also on my own Facebook stuff. So be sure to just be on the lookout side. Um, it's really really captivating. The whole first episode is out, and it's only, like, about six minutes, so it's short. It's nice, to the point, and I love the storytelling element of this. What was it called? Keloid. Actually, I'll just type it out real quick. 
It's really, really good, guys. Um, check it out. Might be doing some stuff with them later on Comic Convos. I'll definitely be reviewing, though. Nice. Be sure think, to be on the lookout. I think we're coming up pretty close to the end of our night here. We started a little late, but unfortunately we, we try to end around 9.30. And so just some final thoughts on Spider-Man, and I guess not just Spider-Man, but in general the state of comic book movies right now. I feel like MCU. Um, I will say Spider-Man Homecoming... I thought it was going to be a little bit stronger, but Agreed. Agreed. it's not killing it for Marvel. No, no. I still have faith. It's it's basically a pulling brand. Like you said, I thought and hoped it was going to be stronger. I wanted to give Spidey a nine. I wanted to give Spidey I, a nine, nine and a half, man. Yeah. I wanted to be walking out of there like, yeah. And I, and and I, I just, admittedly, I had a little adrenaline because I was like, that was a good one, but it just wasn't the same. It's like, it's not like walking out of... Logan, or walking out of uh, Logan, man. Oh, I mean, man. it is such a good one, my man. I, like, I've, I've Logan watched it so is, much since. Oh my goodness, it's that westernish Marvel movie that you. It's oh, so it's original wanted. too. It it's is. Like, there is no other movie like that. Even the Batman vs Superman, which is essentially kind of the same thing, just fails in its lack of gravity towards the ending of that. You know what I mean? It just, it just, it's. And you know, it's some so people are griping about the end of Logan. I was like, Shh, I that's liked it. super powerful. That's yeah. what, like any other ending would have made it a worse movie. I liked it a lot. I'm just Ooh, saying, why did it have to happen? Well, you said electricity made me think of Static Shot. I'm gonna go check out Spider Man Homecoming tomorrow. Nice, nice. check it out. It's yeah, team. let us know what you Spider-Man think. Spider Man was eight for me. That's a good. Yep. I think that's a good common consensus. It's a good movie. It is. It's like I said. Was it the Spider Man I dreamed of? Maybe not necessarily. Is it the gravity ah, or is it the time we spent with yeah. the character? Is it the gravity or is it the time we spent? For what's going on? I forget which one. Which one is that one for, Zach? I think he's talking maybe for the uh Logan. Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. Um I think it might be the grab I think it's a combo because Wolverine it was it's very similar like Wolverine's very much like Superman supposed to be this unkillable unstoppable you know you might get beat and we break him down and to he this breaks down to that can be beat can and be heard up, yep. you know yeah don't you know what happened uh and maybe yeah maybe the time we spent obviously also like there is no comic character as endeared as Wolverine and Hugh Jackman. Just not happening. I don't nope. care who, which one you pick. So many years, my man. So many years. Uh, but even in addition to that, I think that that all added, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it was still just... He was even, the best part of the match. Even if that movies. was the... Alright, so even if you watched only Wolverine and only Batman vs. Superman, I would say that the Wolverine death... Is stronger one because oh, the whole movie talking goes Logan. Up to it. I was like, oh yeah, not Wolverine. I thought yeah, you meant yeah, like yeah. Origins. I'm no, like, no, no, no. I was talking about Logan. man. Yeah, or, or uh, yes, Logan. Very, very, and such powerful story. Well, like I said, it's so. Yeah, I think that's what it comes down to because the the lead up to the death of Superman and BVS is just piss poor. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's bad. I mean, to me, it's. I thought that the fact that. They like first of all the Martha thing was terrible. Oh god! Um, the fact that they like banded up because of that made no sense. I didn't like the fact that Soups flew over to Batman and didn't even try to reason with him. It would be very Soups like for him to just be like, "Hey man, like stop shooting me." We need to you know yeah. talk and we need to be diplomatic about even this. more than that. My big plot hole there is we got the world's greatest detective who in almost every single incarnation to date knows that superman is clark kent prior to meeting oh him. yeah definitely prior to ever meeting that guy you know what i mean for for as long as i can remember there was never the moment of batman aha superman is clark kent he knew he, he always he's a genius knows. he knows everything i agree see sigh uh if x-men was wrapped up properly logan would have felt more comfortable for me to leave me without questions but a solid nine Solid nine, definitely solid nine on X on him. Maybe a nine point five for me. You check Just... out the black and white version. I haven't. I have to check that Fucking out. Clean man. We may have thought that Wolverine was unkillable, but that is the issue of experimental Such new found metals. metals cough. cough. Well, you know, things happen. I mean, it's he survived for a very long time though. So I mean, and in the comics, there's similar things happen, and he just like 
eventually. Oh, uh, poor Wolverine. But... Yeah, that death was so sad. Yeah, I mean, he also got sad. It was it was a day, it was a good way to die. Oh yeah, I mean, the, well, you know, as Both far in as the ways comics it goes and there, the, yeah, and the, the 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 comic death is probably still so, so goddamn good. Awesome. I it's, was breaks. I was so upset. It does the so, same thing though, like. Cause there's the whole road to the death of Wolverine yep. and everything, or the countdown. And you know it's go, and you know it's coming. Yeah, like the last. I mean, days guys, of- I knew it in the beginning of Logan. I was like, I know he's gonna be gone. And then we knew, knew it, it was coming. Well, I think we've basically hit our ending point, guys. Unfortunately, so we're gonna wrap up for tonight. We had a great time talking oh, about such a good cast oh. tonight, guys. We love Spider-Man: Homecoming, and special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Susie Marie, Cy Kennedy, Tyler Lockridge. Guys, thank you so much for your contribution. You are all the best. And thank you guys for all coming out tonight. Definitely. Feel free to come back to our next episode. We will be interviewing Shanna Mora and Governor Songin. Uh, we don't know what the content's going to contain. Yet, but we're going to talk yeah, with them we'll this week. and see, definitely We'll, we'll work out logistics out. this week. Yeah, in the comic, they say it poisons. Yep. All right. Uh, I think we're headed out, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for coming out. Comic combos, y'all! Comic combos! If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.